Welcome to Bike World, welcome to Potomail. Welcome to the launch of Honda's new Fireblade. Now on the surface, this might not look like a massive change, but trust me, it has been. Unfortunately for us, it was dry and we had slicks. But I'll be honest, in the first session, <laughs> that blew my mind on how fast it is and how much the changes are. But I think I'm just scratching the surface because that I came in and I said to John, I was like, John, that is frighteningly fast. I mean, just it tell was, us your uh, experience. It was quite interesting to see his face. Uh, I've never, no, I've never normally see, see you like no, that. You I were like, like rubbing the headlight. It was like, oh, oh, you know, a few uh, bleep words in there, and you. <laughs> but yeah, it, do you know what? It, it, I've ridden loads of blades, lots of generations of them over the years, and uh, the first lap out on it for me yesterday was I smiled. Yeah, yeah. I, it just made me smile. It's been a long time since I've jumped on a bike and it's made me smile like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I don't, I'm, I'm struggling to find out how to tell you why I smiled. I just yeah. smiled. It was just the noise, the induction, the air noise, the split throttles. The, I felt like a world Superbike bike rider immediately on it. And then, you know, come on to start and finish and open that little thing, that twisty thing there. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, but, but I was impressed. But what I think blew me, when we saw the, the presentation last night and they go, oh, we've made this, we've made this, you go, oh, it's going to be 1% this and 2% mm. that. Mm. And then I spoke to you on the phone and you were like, oh, Chad, it's going to be good. And then I came around there and went, Jesus! Yeah. And it's not like the old one was slow, but no. this is like, it yeah, is It's just a... refined into everything about it. You know, they lifted the handlebars up, seating position's a bit uh, more comfortable, pegs yeah. a little bit lower. It's not 1%, it's... It's maybe ten percent, but everywhere. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The auto blipper on the downshift. The auto blipper mm. is like bra bra bra. Mm. It's nice when it goes through second to first through the neutral as well. That impressed me because you always get that that yep. funny like, ooh, is it going to miss a gear? But it yeah. just it's, it's bang 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 down the gears. And then split on the throttle Loved when it. you go into a right hander, and you can hear it off the yeah. reverberate, and you went bra bra. Like oh my word. Slightly less noise out of the exhaust, but which I actually quite like because you can hear. Everything what's going on in there, yeah, what's yeah. happening. You know, the way it's, when it's drawing air, when the power's coming in. Oh, I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm just excited to ride. I was excited to ride. Yeah. You know, I've got four more, five more days of it. I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. I'm just glad you guys got to ride it in the drive because I was really excited for you guys to ride it. And I was like, no, don't rain because you're, just, you're yeah. not going to get that feeling. So, but I'm so pleased you got to have it, a burn on slicks. It's been a while. I mean, I've been doing the job for like 27, 20, whatever years, too long. And in the second session, I was getting more accustomed to it. Yeah. But I can't remember a bike where I've gotten and gone, that yeah. is frightening. Not frightening fast, mm. but Jesus, that's fast. Yeah. And round here, which is quite a wide, fast track. Well, you're busy around here. You know, there's a lot going on. And to boss it round here, you know, and, you, and you're shifting on, it's, it takes a bit of confidence in yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah confidence yeah. in the bike and the tyres and everything. And the brakes as well. I mean, I've done a bit of racing. And I went out with Tommy before <laughs> and into turn one at like 300k. I, I pulled that lever hard, yeah. and I mean, and I've done a bit. I'm like, wow, this thing's like, the engine braking's taking over for a standard set of brakes off the chart for me. Yeah. You know, normally they, they fade, but these are just there, it's there, there. And you, you know, you, you're scrubbing at 130 mile an hour off into turn one, so yeah. It's, but the other thing, when you come over there and it reads 299 or you're, you're at 300 K, it's still going. It's still going. You're only it's in still, fifth. Yeah. You've got another gear to go. So it's. And it's, it's not even, like some bikes will go. Yeah. You know, but this is just going. And the mid range is nice, and it and all that little bit of punchy in the middle. Just like the old bike was a bit flat and it was all action. This thing, they, I know the graph last night on the thing didn't it didn't really show it that much, but it actually feels mm. more mid range when you ride yeah. it. Yeah. It feels better than the graph looks, but I mean I. You know, I'm Honda through and through, and I, I'm sat there in the presentation last night. This has changed, that's changed. A little bit more flex in the frame. Handlebars have moved up 10 mil. Just yeah, yeah. Like, this is like there's a loads more. Zero one gram yeah, I just thought it was a, I thought it was the old blade with a, with a wing on it. With a nice wing, and yeah. I, I genuinely think that wing does work. It definitely doesn't wheelie like the old bike. The old bike was more aggressive when it took off. Yeah. And you had to sort of get out of the throttle a lot more. But listen, you can keep it, keep it, you know, hard pinned on the, the throttle 100%. And like, great tester like this place because. Over that brown to start, yeah. you'll come up and but it just I could keep it, keep it flat. So yeah, not not just a pretty bag, it works as well. Finally, on that last when the checkered flag came out and I did an extra sneaky lap, <laughs> I was going round and I was thinking that is phenomenal. That is so fast. That is, and we've only scratched the surface. We haven't yeah. gone into the manual modes. We haven't played about mm. with all the modes. But it opened my eyes. But you're going to go yeah. down Bray Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks for reminding me on that oh, one. Oh. 
It's going to be, yeah, I mean, the North, we've got the North West coming up, we've got some yeah. testing coming up. Um, everybody's excited, team's excited, the riders are excited. You know, but you team, must ride that and just yeah. go. I, I'm, I'm, I am really excited, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an easy bike to ride with the, with the, with the fl split throttles for sure. Maybe a little bit less physical, maybe towards the end of the TT race, might have a bit more energy left, have another dig, dig deep, you know. And they're all great, 1,000cc supermarks of weapons, but there we're just looking for a little bit and a little bit down. I think we've we've definitely found it. We've got the, the, the strong team with Dean at the TT and Nathan. So, yeah, I mean, the thought of it really going down braille is terrifying me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know <laughs> on the first night's practice. You'll see the whites in my eyes when I come in. I'll be, but, uh, yeah, really looking forward to the, the year. Cool, man. Thanks, John. Thanks for your time. Thanks for, um, yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm Glad you enjoyed it. I, th I thought you weren't enjoying it to start with, mate. I, I think thought, you I, know, I, the first like... session I needed your underpants. The second <laughs> session I got into it. But yeah. it's been a long time since I've gotten a 1,000cc bike and just gone. Wow. And swore yeah. a bit. <laughs> Me too. All right, cheers, John. Cheers, right. mate. Right, right. So I'm going to try and give you a little rundown of the 2024 Fireblade just while we get a little break in the weather here. So obviously the visual difference with the new wings, but the big difference is the changes that they've made with the engine, the technical changes that they've made with the suspension and the rider aids. But first of all, the suspension, which is the generation three suspension, which is the first time Orleans have put that on a production bike, other bikes with semi-active oil and suspension on generation two. So the two generation is obviously a few steps behind. So the algorithms are quicker, the way the suspension changes is faster and amount of range is different on the generation three so you've got semi-active modes so the suspension is active and you can flick between those uh, road and track on the fly which we did today basically that changes the reaction of the compression and the rebound preload stays the same same on the rear then when you go into a manual setting you can then change compression and rebound as you would but without getting your hands dirty what's really interesting also on this system is you can put the weight of the rider into it um, so we went from 75 to 80 kilograms to compensate for my weight, which changes the character of the bike. Really simple and pretty easy to use, but it's kind of a thing you have to do in pit lane. It's not what you can do on the fly. So you've got the power, you've got the wheelie control, you've got traction, you've got engine brake control, and at the moment we're in active one on track. But the big talking point for us has been the split throttle bodies. So what that basically does is on acceleration, it doesn't give you all four throttle bodies it only gives you like one and two and then three and four so you request a lot of power and it won't give you full power it's going to give you only open two foot five one and two and then it'll open three and four later uh, and you can hear this so it's kind of it doesn't misfire but you can hear it as you come out the corner and it's really really impressive so we've magically jumped from portomeo to Andalusia, where the official Honda BSB team are just doing a little bit of testing. What they're basically doing is putting Dean out on the superbike to test it for the roads, and then we've got a couple of the superstock bikes out just getting the guys up to speed here in Andalusia because it'll be the first time that they've jumped on the 24 bike. And a lot of the changes, to be fair, from the new Fireblade will be felt by the race team. They can play with those split. Uh, throttle bodies they can tweak that to how they want so they can have two uh, split throttle bodies in first second and third and fourth and then maybe change it for fifth and sixth they can change it at different rpm on the road bike it, it's not changeable you can't change it on the move and you can't dive into it you need to be able to access it which the race teams can do but not all the changes that they've made to the bike are just for the race team for example the pegs are much lower on the road bike on the standard bike the bar position is much comfier it feels like a roomier, more friendly Fireblade than ever it was before. And the changes to the gearing and the changes to the mid-range and the torque, again, you'll feel that on the road when you compare it old v new. You don't have to be doing 180 miles an hour flat out in fifth gear to feel the difference between the old and the new bike. For me, the way the bike picks up and the throttle delivery from 8,000 RPM is a real significant difference. You can feel the, the pickup and, and the way it spins. It's almost like a, like a turbine. It just picks up and goes, which I, two generations ago, it def definitely didn't do that. And you'll feel that on the road. I think it's gonna deliver more on the road. It's gonna have more mid-range, it's gonna have more drive. It's gonna be roomier, it's gonna be comfortable. And you've got quicker reacting generation three oil in suspension. You've got better rider aids than before. As I stand in front of the Honda race truck, I guess the elephant is in the room is, why didn't the bike perform in World Superbikes last year? And at the first round, it didn't do too favorable at Phillip Island. 
Obviously, we've not started the BSB season yet, so it'll be interesting to see how the bike goes in BSB. On the roads last year, it did really well. In Superstock, it was almost undefeated and took the championship. So obviously, the package is there. And then this year, with the split throttle bodies and the, the advancement in the chassis, the more feeling we're getting through the frame, the quicker spinning engine. Again, I think it's going to be dominant in Superstock, and it'll be interesting to see how the bike performs in Superbike. But me and Chris really need to get the competition together. We need to drag strip it against the competition. Who's the fastest? Who's got the biggest pair of balls? We need to put it on a circuit in the UK, play with all these different modes. We only tried the active suspension, not the manual suspension. There's so many other boxes we need to tick on this bike. This is a huge advancement over the previous bike, even though on paper it doesn't look like it. The way it delivers, its torque, its drive is really phenomenal. This is incredible what we can do now with a thousand cc super bikes this feels like a super stock bike of a of a few years ago to be fair but hope you've enjoyed the video if you've got any questions because it is a really technically advanced bike um, we'll try and answer them below and as i say hopefully me and chris can get together and we can do some drag racing we can play at a track we can get it on a dyno we can visit this bike as many times as possible thanks for watching